What a time to be a PC enthusiast. Intel and AMD have both just announced their next-gen CPUs with their next-gen GPUs just around the corner too. And in this video, we'll be taking a first look at Intel's new 13th gen core CPUs. Codenamed Raptor Lake, 13th gen processors are based on an improved version of the hybrid architecture that debuted with the 12th gen processors that they launched this time last year. To quickly recap, these have two types of core. P cores for single and lightly threaded software, such as games and photo editing, and E cores for multi-threaded software, such as video editing and 3D rendering. The P cores and E cores can work independently or together, depending on what software you're running at the time, a fully automated process performed by the thread director. So what has Intel changed and upgraded from its 12th to its 13th gen processors? It helps to think of 13th gen processors as 12th gen processors dialed up to 11. Practically every aspect of the K versions of the new 13th gen processors have been given a big boost. Let's start with the huge increase in the level 2 caches, with the P cores getting 60% more and E cores double. The level 3 cache that both sets of cores share also grows to by 20%. Whilst all the models retain the same number of P cores, Intel has been a lot more generous this time with the number of E cores. The flagship i9 growing from 8 to 16 E cores, whilst the high end i7 and mid range i5 both double from 4 to 8 E cores. Clock speeds are up too, with the new 13900K's P cores speeding along at up to 5.8 GHz compared to 5.2 GHz for the old 12900K. Like their 12th gen predecessors, 13th gen CPUs support both DDR4 and DDR5 memory, with the latter getting a speed boost from 4.8 to 5.2 GHz. Finally, the number of USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 ports has been increased from 4 to 5, although the actual number will depend on the motherboard that you use. And speaking of motherboards, 13th gen CPUs will work in most 12th gen motherboards after a BIOS update. There is, however, a new Z790 chipset that changes the PCIe configuration, switching the layout from 16 PCIe 3 and 12 PCIe 4 lanes to 8 PCIe 3 and 20 PCIe 4 lanes. Now, this is unlikely to benefit many gamers, but it will help to boost performance in professional workstations with lots of adding cards and SSDs. Now, unfortunately, we're not allowed to share any of the awesome benchmark results that we've been gathering in the 3XS Systems Lab with you quite yet. You will have to wait a little longer for those, I'm afraid, however. We have put together this handy table that compares the main specs of the new 13th gen core processors versus the current 12th gen CPUs. So why not let us know in the comments below what you think of the new 13th gen processors and which of the models you're most interested in. And of course, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be amongst the first to know when we are able to share those benchmark results. In the meantime, head on over to the SCAN website using the link in the description below to view our pre-order page for Intel 13th Gen Core Processors.